Norway and the EU are on the verge of a post-Brexit Cod War, with the Scandinavian country warning the bloc it has no basis in international law to impose fishing quotas in its waters, and the episode has highlighted growing tensions between Oslo and Brussels after Eurosceptics said the country needed to reclaim authority over energy regulation as well. In the next few weeks, EU fishing vessels face being seized in waters off Svalbard and their owners prosecuted, because Norway says they have used up their quotas. Auden Halverson, state secretary to the Norwegian Minister for Foreign Affairs, told Politico, there is no basis in international law for the European Union to set quotas in Norwegian waters. Controlling the resources in our national waters is a matter of fundamental national interest, as it is for the EU and its member states in EU waters. Brussels has responded to Norwegian objections by citing the Svalbard Treaty. That treaty, signed in Paris in 1920, which places limits on Norwegian sovereignty over the archipelago. However, after a meeting with EU Fisheries Commissioner Virginijus Sinkovicius in February, Norwegian Fisheries Minister Ademil Ingebrigtsen said the EU's quota setting was completely unacceptable behaviour. He further insisted any fishing beyond the quota will be illegal fishing and will be enforced by the Coast Guard in the usual way. Speaking earlier this week, Centre Party leader Trygve Slagsvold Vedum, one of two opposition candidates aimed to replace Conservative Erna Solberg as Prime Minister, said, We believe we've handed too much authority to the EU, particularly within the area of energy, and that we should take that back. This will be a big fight, because low Norwegian electricity prices are a competitive advantage for our industries.